Why the hell so many people are trying to tell me to slow down? Seems like motherfuckers should be shutting the hell up and enjoying the show. On to your favorite athletes, Athlete. And I like the way OG put that, okay? Now, I, y'all have been asking me for a long time, ever since this shit popped off, but I was too busy getting my channel together, okay? Y'all don't know if y'all saw, we got some new style commentary and everything. Y'all need to hit the wine glass to our shit. We moving up. It's levels to this bitch. Now, I saw when Evelyn has been like showing, you know, just, just, just acting real unladylike. You know, I know I ain't got no business telling people that they, they, you know, how to act. But, I mean, this was a whole nother level. I mean, who, like, rose they puts this thing? Oh, yo, you, you know, this my pussy. This, who, who does that? Who does that? And yet they want to call the black woman the monkey. And these bitches out here acting like monkeys. Because when she did that squat and started rubbing on her pussy, that's, that's how the monkeys signal other monkeys to come get it. And they titties be rolling too, bitch. You be seeing them on the damn uh, National Geographic channel. So I don't understand how she calling somebody else a monkey, but I thought it was interesting, okay? Because I see, and the reason I, tr- I want to talk about this tonight, because I saw Ocho Cinco do some fuck shit. There's a lot of, let me, I'm going to give y'all a little life lesson on men real quick, okay? I'm going to give y'all a little life lesson on men. Because they'll try this shit. I've been, I done peeped game for years. See, Ocho Cinco is a man. And I hope the men, look, y'all better not get mad at me because I'm about to tell y'all a goddamn secret. And there's a lot of old school women out there that know what I'm about to say, what I'm about to say. Okay, give me a minute. So Ocho Cinco is a man and he got knees, okay? He's fucking a hot dollar bitch that'll rather put on her damn makeup. And she won't take it off in the goddamn bedroom. So which means he's got to stay straight. He's got to fuck her missionary or from the back, and he better not pull her goddamn hair. That's Evelyn. Then he meets a bitch. Like uh, uh, OG that don't mind getting a little dirty. Okay, and he wants that. He sees that she's flexible. He sees, she's, yeah, she looks, she looks different from the type of woman that they want him to be posted with for the red carpet, and that's Evelyn. But OG's a different type of bitch. She don't mind getting dirty. She don't mind sweating in bed. And that's what men like. They want a bitch that, that, that just forgets about everything, puts all of her problems her bills on him. He'll take care of it. And that's what he was looking for. Because Evelyn was too busy looking good for the red carpet. Trying to get on Basketball Wives. Trying to get on any damn reality show for that matter. Too busy trying to get pregnant. Mm-hmm. Mm. And so I heard her say something. Because, see, you'll, you'll take a man like Ocho Cinco that wants to, like, sidetrack you. I had a conversation with my mom about this the other day. We was doing something about this shit. Let me tell you now. I'm about, to, I'm about to run you some game. Especially to you little girls that are on Instagram. And your man is liking pictures. Or he may not even like the picture. He may just scroll past it. And then he'll tell you, this bitch is ugly. Look at him. He be scrolling just like this. Look at it. And he'll point out every single thing that makes her ugly. Tell you that the bitch look like a monkey. Tell you that she too dark. And this is what Ocho was telling uh, 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 Evelyn. That's why she got the big head. That's why she thought she could headbutt his ass. Or he headbutt her ass, whatever. They both headbutting each other. But that's why she thought that she could do what she wanted to do. Because she thought she had her man on lock. Because she was pretty. But you must, you must know that men don't give a fuck. About how a woman looks as long as that box and that pussy works. And so they will tell you, and I see it all the time, when I when she turned in the reality show, Evelyn, and said to OG, you ugly. And then OG looked back and said, your man don't think I'm ugly. And then you should have saw Evelyn like, because the nigga's been pillow talking in her ear telling her that she's the most beautiful thing ever, ever, and he has a preference. He don't even like dark-skinned women. That's what he told her. Oh, I don't like dark-skinned women. So she got embarrassed in front of the girls. Like, my man told me that light-skinned women were the most beautiful. I think all women are the most beautiful. I'm just telling you a story. This is a man. This is when a man will run you bullshit. But y'all get wrapped up in the money and the lifestyle and the dick, and you just forget. You just forget. That he's a man first, before the money, before the houses, before the cars. And so you, you get the big head. My man would never go there. He would never go there. So she decides to call up Ocho Cinco and say, ain't no way this bitch is 
going to embarrass me. I know goddamn well you was not trying to fuck this ugly hoe when you told me bitches like her are ugly. And he said I wasn't, so he gave her half of the tweet. He gave her half of the tweets. He said, see, I wasn't fucking with her. That's what he said. I ain't fucking with her. She lying. She lying. I don't know why he would say she lying. You know, this bitch done made him lose everything. But you know what? Because he's a man and he, men don't like getting caught in lies. They will take lies to the goddamn end of this earth. Okay? And so you, she takes it back. Oh, my man. Look at these texts. Look at these, these tweets. You wanted my man. And OG, the one that her man said was ugly and the one she called ugly, pulls out and says, oh, no. He only got you half, bitch. He didn't give you all the text messages because he ain't going to tell you the truth. And you know why he ain't going to tell you the truth? The moral of the story is, is because men don't really give a damn how a bitch look as long as she got a pussy that can satisfy him. And they will tell you anything to all you young girls out there that think just because your man, when your man or little boy or whatever he is, tells you that the next bitch is ugly, you best believe he either knocking her down or he wants to beat that pussy because he wants you to not think about that. That's the furthest thing from your mind. I would never hit that. I would never hit that. And yet he's in the DM asking for it every goddamn night. Because it's not about looks. It's about what you can do. OG was very athletic. He knew that she could do things that Evelyn couldn't do. Okay, because Evelyn said that, yeah, 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 with a pussy. OG got to look for that. She squats down. Yes. And she got the strength to ride. Because her legs are strong. She's an athlete. And so whenever a man tells you that another bitch is ugly, best believe he's only telling you that so you won't ever think that if he was the fucker, he didn't fuck her. Now that's all I got to say on this. Any grown women in the comments understand what I'm saying? Any grown women in the comments understand what I'm saying? Hmm? Any grown man. Please hit the wine glass if you know what I'm talking about. Okay, this conversation may be a little too grown for folks out here. But I'm going to let it marinate while we brag. Oh, we ain't got no brag segment coming up yet. Hold on, hold on. Let me see what y'all talking about in the comments before we move on. Let me see. Oh, I hear you, truth. I'm telling you, and a man, listen, ask your man right now. And he going to lie. Ask your best friend to you. Because see, women think because they think that a woman is ugly. Oh, my man will never hit that. And so when you think she ugly and you ask the man, is she ugly? He going to tell you what you want to hear. All the while, he will beat that bitch down in the bathroom, in the car. Because she can probably do some things that you can't. And he got a dick to please. Okay? So don't you ever mistake don't ever be that dumb. Don't you ever be an Evelyn. Okay? Because you saw real quick. Because I saw Ocho Cinco trying to say, you know, what did he say on Instagram? He hit back. Hold on for a second. Let me pull this picture. Let me pull this damn picture. Because he said some fuck shit. He taking this shit to the end of his grave right now. Right now. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see what he posted. Okay. This is what he posted. Ocho Cinco wanted me. This is what he posted on his Instagram. Four days ago, Ocho, this is what made me bring it to fuckery Friday, because it's some fuckery. Ocho Cinco wanted me, but he wanted that bitch. Because Evelyn wasn't doing what she was supposed to do, because she thought that because she was pretty, pussy keep, that the prettiness keeps a man, but no, it's pussy. It's the flexibility of it all, and he just only wants to tell you that that bitch is ugly, so you won't ever think that he would hit that shit. And that's exactly what happened here. We saw it unfold, okay? You may be a little too young to understand what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. mm. Visit EmbracePangea.com to treat your intimate areas with the products it deserves. The Pangea wash is made from honeysuckle and rose essential oils. is 100% natural and doesn't dry you out down there. Don't dush just in case your mama ain't never tell you that because that's nasty, okay? Oh, that's nasty. Embrace Pangea wash instead and leave you and your yoni feeling clean, fresh, and with a balanced pH. EmbracePangea.com is where you can explore all of these wonderful vegan and plant-based products use the promotional code Tasha K for 10% off your first order at checkout